In our previous session, we looked at the expansion of sine n theta and cos n theta. Now let's figure out for tan n theta. So we know tan n theta is equal to sine n theta by cos n theta. Okay, so let's substitute the expansions of sine n theta and cos n theta here. So we get uh, n cos n minus 1 theta sine theta minus n times n minus 1 n minus 2 by 3 factorial times cos n minus 3 theta sine cube theta plus n times n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and n minus 4 by 5 factorial times cos n minus 5 theta sine 5 theta and we can keep going like that okay now let's uh, do it for cos n theta so divide it by cos n theta so cos to the power of n theta minus n times n minus 1 by 2 factorial cos n minus 2 theta sin square theta plus n times n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 by 4 factorial times cos n minus 4 theta sin 4 theta and this will keep going okay now that we have this uh, what can we do okay, we have to convert it into tan right now how do we convert it to tan by dividing sine by cos individually in each of these terms of the numerator and denominator so that can happen only if we divide it by cos theta or more appropriately cos n theta okay so let's see what happens divide it by cos n theta what do we get now here i'll just take the first term cos n minus 1 theta sin theta divided by cos theta cos n theta what will happen if i take it down the power of uh, cos n theta will become cos n minus n minus 1 theta right which is nothing but so we are left with cos theta which is nothing but tan theta right so keep this in mind so n times tan theta minus n times n minus 1 n minus 2 by 3 factorial times cos n minus 3 we take it down so when we take it down what will happen uh, we will end up with sine cube theta divided by cos cos we are dividing by cos n theta so n minus n minus 1 that means n n will cancel out and this is actually n minus 3 not we are bringing cos n minus 3 down so plus it will become plus so we will end up with cos cube theta by sorry sin cube theta by cos cube theta which means this will become tan cube theta see you can try it with a few terms and then once you are comfortable with the pattern you can just directly use that pattern to go forward so n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 by 5 factorial and here again sin 5 theta divided by cos we are dividing by cos n theta so n minus n minus 5 so n n cancels minus minus plus so this becomes 
tan 5 theta. So, tan 5 and this will keep going like that divided by. Now that we are comfortable with the pattern, we can proceed. Okay. Cos n theta divided by cos n theta is 1 minus n times n minus 1 by 2 factorial tan square theta plus n times n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 divided by 4 factorial times tan 4 theta and this will keep going. So, this would be tan n theta. Will it work? Let us take for an, as an example tan 2 theta. Now, what do I do? n is 2. So, 2 tan theta minus 2 times 2 minus 1, 2 minus 2. See, the moment I reach here, I do not have to go forward at all because this will become 0 and I do not have to proceed forward. Okay. Now, let us look at the denominator now. This goes off. Denominator will be 1 minus 2 times 2 minus 1 by 2 factorial that is 2. So, 2, 2 cancels out and I have tan square theta which is equal to 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta and we know that this is the right form of tan 2 theta. Let us do one more tan let us say 3 theta. How do we proceed? Let us take this n tan theta. So, here it will be 3 tan theta minus 2, uh, not 2, now it is 3. So, 3 times 3 minus 1, 3 minus 2 by e factorial. In the next one, 3 minus 3 will come in. So, I do not have to proceed because the remaining ones will be 0. Okay, divided by 1 minus 3 times 3 minus 1 tan square theta by 2 factorial plus now I will end up with 2 more 3 minus 2, 3 minus 3. So, it will become 0. So, I do not need this. So, let us simplify this 3 tan theta minus 3 times 2 times 1 by 3 times 2. So, everything gets cancelled out. We are left with 1 divided by 1 minus 3 times 2 by 2 tan square theta. So, 2, 2 cancels. So, finally, tan 3 theta will be equal to 3 tan theta minus 1 by 1 minus 3 tan square theta. Now, let us do a higher multiple of theta. Let us say tan 5 theta. This would be equal to and just go by the uh, expression we have n tan theta. So, 5 tan theta minus 5 times 5 minus 1, 5 minus 2 by 3 factorial tan cube theta plus 5 times 5 minus 1, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3 and 5 minus 4 by 5 factorial times tan 5 theta divided by 1 minus 5 times 5 minus 1 tan square theta by 2 factorial plus 5 times 5 minus 1, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3 by 4 factorial and tan 4 theta. Next terms will not be there. So, do not put dot 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 dot. They will become 0. So, now let us simplify this. We get 5 tan theta. 3 factorial is 3 times 2. This is 4. This is 3. So, 3, 3 cancels to 2. 
so 5 to 10 so 10 tan cube theta plus now this is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 so 5 5 cancels 5 minus 1 is 4 so 4 cancels 5 minus 2 is 3 3 cancels 5 minus 3 is 2 so this cancels so we are left with 5 minus 4 1 so that means tan 5 theta divided by 1 minus uh, this is 4 so 2 times 2 is 4 so 10 tan square theta plus this is going to be 4 3 2 so 4 4 3 3 2 2 so we are left with 5 tan 4 so basically what we are doing is converting tan n theta into an expression involving only theta or writing tan n theta in terms of tan theta okay that's it bye